entertainment, mental health, longevity, increased muscle mass, cardiovascular endurance, those are the main benefits that the perfect exercise should give you. We will go over each of the benefits and why I spent more than 20 years thinking butterfly wasn't for me. Longevity. Of all the inventions and strategies for slowing down the aging process, the only one with sufficient evidence is exercise. Exercises that have a double benefit for longevity are those that strengthen the core and the knees. But why the core and the knees? because they are the ones that keep you independent when you reach an advanced age. For example, no one is helping this 100-year-old lady get from her chair. Butterfly swimming works on the most important muscles of your core. It also strengthens the tendons, muscles, and ligaments that surround the knee. The movement in butterfly swimming is symmetrical. The back and the front of the legs and core are being worked. Since you breathe forward, the arms also have symmetry. Increased muscle mass. For many years, it has been said that swimming is the perfect exercise because you use every muscle. That is not a strong argument, since we use almost every muscle to walk, run, or do literally almost anything. The intensity at which your muscles work is a better indication of the effectiveness of the exercise. You can swim freestyle, backstroke, or breaststroke at a very low intensity. In fact, that is the goal of many swimmers. But it is almost impossible to swim butterfly at a low intensity. But I saw the Hungarian Christoph Milak win the 200 butterfly effortlessly. Some of you will tell me. I assure you that if the muscles had a face, they would look exhausted. Entertainment. Experts say that the perfect exercise is the one that entertains you enough that you keep doing it. Swimming just freestyle after you've mastered it can get boring. But you can spend more than 20 years trying to perfect your butterfly swim without getting bored. I say it from experience and I still have a lot to improve. Mental health. One of the most important benefits is mental health. There are three things that make butterfly swimming one of the best exercises for your mental well-being. When you enter the water, you're already in another world. Gravity is not the same. The sounds, touch, Almost all of your senses have a different experience. Butterfly swimming can be frustrating at first, but if you take it step by step, you eventually get into the state where your body needs so much attention that part of your worried brain shuts down. According to studies, creativity, concentration, and good mood last up to 24 hours after entering that flow state of mind. Another mental benefit that you can get when swimming butterfly is progress. Improving in some aspect of your life is what neurons like the most. From the moment you start swimming butterfly, you have a lot of room to improve. It helps when you have a clear purpose when entering the pool. When you achieve something that required effort and you thought was impossible is one of the most rewarding feelings. The rhythm and fluidity can make it a meditation and movement. Similar to Tai Chi or yoga, the butterfly swim is meditative but at a higher intensity. Increased cardiovascular endurance. If you feel that you're breathing hard after butterfly swimming, it means that you're also exercising your heart and lungs. Cardiovascular endurance, better known as cardio, doesn't necessarily have to be for long periods of time. Several 50s of butterfly swimming can be one of the best ways to get your heart rate up. There is no rest between strokes. Unlike freestyle or breaststroke, in advanced butterfly there is no gliding. That's one of the main reasons your heart rate rises so fast. If you're used to gliding in butterfly, try moving your hands outward instead of gliding. That movement will help you raise your head and move forward. The reason I didn't like butterfly so much is because of the difficulty and the risk of injury. It wasn't until recently that I discovered that it doesn't take as much strength to swim it as people think. Even in our swimming camps, in just a few hours, we teach butterfly swimming to people who never thought it was possible. Can you get hurt doing butterfly? Yes, but you can hurt yourself doing any activity if you don't have the proper technique and preparation. The most common butterfly injury is in the shoulders. The cause of most injuries is poor technique. For example, raising your arms too much in the recovery or not having enough mobility to do so. At the end, I will tell you some exercises that you can do to make your shoulders injury proof. Some of the top butterfly technique tips are the center of gravity of your body is near your belly button but the center of buoyancy is closer to your lungs. That is the basis of the undulation. Chest down, hips up. Hips down, chest up. Your head weighs around five kilos. If you move it up and down, it can be an excellent counterweight for the rest of your body. In the recovery, your arms go straight. They should pass a couple of centimeters above the surface of the water, but no more. Your elbow should not be bent, nor your hands too high. There are two kicks per stroke. The second kick must end at the same time as the stroke. The movement of the arms in the water forms a butterfly. Swimming butterfly can be quite difficult. 
click on this playlist to learn it step by step. If you don't want to hurt your shoulders, I recommend you watch this video, especially the exercises at the end. If you want to visit our swimming store, click here. See you there. Swim fast.